Nine year old continues to fight for her life this evening after being hit by a truck while out on a scooter last night. Eight news reporter Olivia Jaquith joining us live from the intersection where it happened. Olivia, really a serious situation here. Yeah, absolutely, Eric and Chesterfield police have confirmed that that little girl is still in critical condition after suffering brain injuries. Now I spoke with a neighbor just up the street here who described the trauma of seeing a child who he's watched grow up be hurting like that and the changes that he hopes will come out of this. This was the scene at the intersection of Bach and Vincent Lanes in Chesterfield County last night after police say a nine year old girl was hit by a pickup truck. It was just Gut wrenching. Awful. No parent should have to go through that. Authorities say she was on a motor scooter when the crash happened around 6 p.m. Resident Ted Stewart says he heard a crash but didn't realize what it was until sirens followed. The first thing I saw was a scooter on the ground and I knew it belonged to my neighbor's child and I saw her lying on the ground injured. Stewart says he knows the family well and saw the little girl outside with her older brother. His helmet was cracked. There was blood on the back end of it, so I'm not sure how that got there. I don't know whether he tried to help his sister while she had gotten hurt or whatever, but uh, he was very distraught. Police have not said whether speed was a factor, but Stewart says cars often come off of Coalfield Road not far from this crash going too fast. They really need to put some speed out here, especially at this intersection, because there's a lot of activity, a lot of kids playing, and I think it's time to do it. Now, Stuart tells me that first responders did try to treat this little girl on scene before taking her to the hospital. And the man behind the wheel of the truck that hit her, police say, has been issued a summons for driving without a license. Now, while this crash, crash investigation rather is ongoing, everyone is, of course, hoping for the child's swift and complete recovery. For now, live in Chesterfield County, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.